Bubble Pop Kids here. Get ready for a show of sweets and goodies. Sweets and goodies? Like, this is seriously like a Hello Kitty pencil case. What's going on? If you guys watch the show, you know Colleen is my best friend, my neighbor, and squishy maker. She makes me all the homemades, and she recently took a trip to Japan and picked this up for me at the airport. Bubble, this Hello Kitty box is like super confusing. It says pencils are made of wood. Okay, cold milk makes me strong and healthy. But then it takes a weird turn. It says, where am I? Is Hello Kitty like lost? Oh, and another important message, ripe apples are very delicious. So basically, Colleen was on her way home from Japan and she saw this adorable little box at the airport. She knows I love Hello Kitty. I have like loved Hello Kitty forever. She's my favorite little character. And she also filled it with some little goodies. Japanese sweets. Oh, we're taking a look because like, this is weird. What she put in here? What? Brought me a box of Japanese candy, snacks, and treats. Oh, so, so cute. These have the cutest little packages. I don't know what they are, but we are gonna try them. Let's try us some Japanese food. Okay, so like this one, this is like super weird. It looks like some noodles with egg. Okay, next up, ugh. What's going on with this? Here's the next one, it says crazy. I've done those little crazy pop and cooking sets, those do-it-yourself candies. I don't know, I don't know what this is. They look like little space octopus, little aliens. Aliens bubble. These are like the alien space octopus, and that is the mother ship bringing them home. Ugh. What else do we got here? Ooh, this looks like Halloween. Some Halloween candy. Oh, so cute. We got this little dog. Halloween Nikuyu. Hmm. Don't know what it is. Kind of feels squishy. Maybe some gummies. Halloween Nikuyu must mean Halloween gummies for little doggy treats. I don't know. So weird. That's a few more. Ooh, she got some really cute stuff. Oh, this is so cute. And Pin Man. And Pin Man is like a little Japanese kind of cartoony guy. So cute. It looks like a donut. I think this is like a lollipop. It looks like a lollipop. I don't know. What else? Ew. Jelly beans. This little packet here. Oh, so cute. Look at these little characters. American candies do not have these adorable little packages. I don't know. They never do. These look like little bubble gums or pink jellies. Hmm. This is wild. Bubble, this is wild. I can't figure out what it is, but it looks like a soda that's like exploding with different flavors. This is crazy. I don't know. Got a few more in here. Ooh, what is this? Got a little cheeseburger, monkey. I have had one of these before. It kind of tasted like a cheese doodle, but there's so many different flavors of these. Maybe it's like a fast food flavor. Fast food flavor cheese doodle? Okay, you're cray. And here's another one, but this one looks cheesy because of the cow and like the orange color. So good. And the final two little goodies. Ooh, these look like marshmallows. Maybe they're different flavors. Looks like a little pudding and strawberry. Okay, Bubble, got lots of tasting to do. Kind of scared because, like, I can't read a thing. We're not going to know what we're eating, but it's okay because Colleen gave it to us. Let's do it. Hey, little Bubble Teens. We don't have any squishies today. We just got tons of candy, mystery candy. I don't know what this is, but let's open it, give it a little taste, and see if it's good. Chamal. And Bubble, we're starting with this one because, like, it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So, we're starting with it. Oh, we are doing this. Oh, these look so good. They look so good and kind of weird at the same time. I'm guessing this is more of like a snack. It's got this little crazy guy with his chopsticks. And that looks like a bowl of noodles. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Uh, Bubble, I think you have to cook this. This looks like raw ramen noodle. Like, do you have to cook it or what? So I'm guessing you don't have to cook it just because it's in like a little potato chip snacky bag. Try it. I don't smell anything yet. Mmm. Tastes like raw spaghetti, but it's super good with like egg and maybe some chicken flavoring. So good. Crunchy. Mmm. These are delish. I have never tasted anything like this. I mean, it does look like raw spaghetti, but it almost has like a potato chip kind of taste and crunch. And the flavor, I don't know, it tastes like a chicken soup. Oh, these are good. I would never, ever, I never would have thought. So, tell Colleen to go back to Japan and get like a thousand of these. I'm gonna eat them all day. Mm. So 
there you go. You try something new every day. I've never tasted anything like this. They are amazing. Little noodle cookie crackers, whatever they are. Well, definitely not cookies. They're, they're salty. Like a snack. Oh, next up, some space octopus alien candy. Knock yourself out. A swan is super crunchy and salty, but I have the feeling this is definitely candy. I don't know what it is. Cutest little package or bag. Check it out. You ready, Bubble, for the big reveal of the alien octopus? Let's see. Ugh. <laughs> These look kind of weird. They don't exactly look like the package. Maybe a little bit. What are they? Smells like cherry. Oh, this ain't no cherry. This is like watermelon or honeydew melon flavored, squishy, like taffy, play doh. Don't know, but it's good. Mmm, kind of strange. Kind of has a chewy taste to it. It has like a watermelon, melony taste now that I think about it. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. And I love the shape. They're really cute. Uh oh, teriyaki. Next little candy or snack, whatever this thing is. Oh, it's so cute with this little cheeseburger. It says teriyaki. Maybe like chicken flavor? I have no clue. Uh. Oh, is this a taquito? This looks like a taquito, like a little rolled up burrito. Oh, ew, 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 I don't like it. I love teriyaki chicken or beef, but this, it's so weird. It's like a giant crunchy cheese doodle, like a corn snack. And it tastes like, oh, maybe like a soy sauce. I don't know. <laughs> the other ones were pretty good, but this is gross. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like a big old crunchy cheese doodle, and it's got a super strong teriyaki, almost like a soy sauce powder. Ugh, don't like that one. This is like poo-poo. This is like poo-poo. That last one was so gross. So gross. Crunchy. Ooh, I still have the teeth in my mouth. And I'm hoping this little puppy dog with the witch hat be a little bit better. Try some Halloween Nikuyu. Bubble, what is this all about? Like, little devil dog? And it feels squishy, so it must be like gummy candy. Must be. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like grapes. Ooh. Little Halloween Nikuyu. Ratia. Bubble, they're actually not Nikuyu. They're little puppy paws. You see? Grape and like orange. They look like Sour Patch or something. So good. Mm, these are good. Now we're talking. Oh, much better than the last. They're not exactly gummy candies like uh, Sour Patch. They're more like fruit snacks. Very chewy, fruity fruit snacks with like little bits of sugar on the outside. Mmm. Oh, they're supposed to look like paws, but they look like flowers. What's up with that? Love him. The candy fun just keeps rolling along. It is so weird to try things that you don't know what they are. You can't read it or the flavors. Kind of weird, but super fun. Should have got this little Ann Pan Man. And I can't read it, but I know it's a lolly. Some kind of a lolly in there. So cute. So cute and like super boring. Like not much going on. Nothing else in there. Oh, it's good. Like, like butterscotch. Took a couple licks of this. It's kind of weird. At first I thought it was like a butterscotch, but now that I'm looking at it, it's got little oranges. So it's some orange flavor. It's actually not too good. Not too good. Not too crazy about it. All of these next candies are super confusing, but also adorable. Like, feels like a marshmallow with a strawberry. Feels like a marshmallow with some pudding. Like stuff? Ugh, I didn't like that lolly. I don't know why. It had kind of like a medicine or a cough drop taste. Ugh. But we are moving on to something else. These look super sweet, super cute. Little strawberry marshmallow. Ooh. It's like a macaron. I love strawberries and cream. Ah, oh, this one was really good. It's got a regular marshmallowy kind of outer skin, but then once you bite into it, it's got this kind of creamy strawberry paste. So good. It almost tastes like cake. Check out this little guy. And if it tastes like pudding, gonna love it. Ooh. Bubble, it's like a marshmallow with vanilla pudding inside. It's the best. You never thought about this? It actually looks like an egg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, I think I found so far in this little candy tasting, oh, this is the best. It kind of looks like a deviled egg. So, so good. There is pudding inside of this marshmallow. Inside of it, there is some dry kind of vanilla pudding paste. Mmm, so, so good. Almost tastes like ice cream. Vanilla pudding marshmallow. Who would have thought? Genius. 
it. Well, that all, all sorts of craziness happening on this little package. Like, I can't make heads or tails of it. Seriously. The only thing I can read is me gum. What is me gum? What is it? Ooh, that pudding marshmallow was so good. I ate it, took a little sip of water, cleansed my palate, and we are ready for Shimmel Crazy Candy. So this one here, oh, it's so colorful. Such a cute package. To me, it kind of looks like a soda that is exploding. <laughs> you got all these different colors. I'm assuming they're different flavors. And they kind of feel like rocks, like hard candy. I don't know. Check it out. So, the soda is going to explode all over the testing table. Better watch out. I think it's soda candy in different flavors. Or jelly beans. Hmm, interesting. Actually, they do look like the package. We get all those different colored little jelly bean looking candies. I don't know. Try the yellow. These are soda pop jelly beans. They're soda pop jelly beans. Like, they taste like soda. This tastes like Sprite. And this must be like Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Oh, these things are so, so good, you guys. They look so plain. They don't look like much, but once you eat them, they have this hard candy coating, and when you get past it, it is like fizzy soda. Whoa. Tastes like that. <laughs> so, so crazy. I know this is going to be like Coca-Cola flavored. Well, that tastes like a cherry cola. That tastes like a cherry cola. So good. What about the blue? I never saw a pink soda. Take them both at once. Ah, oh, no. Another like little teriyaki stick. And something else. Hello everybody, my tongue is going crazy, I got so much sugar, and we're on to our final two Japanese candies. Oh, now this one is kind of scaring me because the last was super gross, but this reminds me of a cheese doodle. It looks kind of cheesy. I'm thinking that's what it is, but this. On the surface, these would look like little pink jelly beans, but I don't think they are because look at the picture. The boy is yelling at the other one and he's like laughing or something. It's so weird. Open it. Ooh, here it goes. This is the cutest little package. So cute little characters. Ooh, looks so similar to the soda candy. Taste it. Ah! Oh. Are you serious, Bubble? Are you trying to rip our teeth out? This is as hard as a rock. It's like stone. Serious. Yikes. I literally, oh, I mean, I do this all the time, but I really almost did. I almost cracked my two front teeth. You guys, this is no jelly bean or sweet or soft candy. This is a rock solid hard candy. Well, you know how dangerous this is? Making people think this is like a jelly bean and then it's not and then breaking all of their teeth. That's why he's crying. He broke his teeth. Nothing too great about these, oh, but they are so deceiving. I mean, they don't look like hard candies at all. Just have a little bit of a strawberry taste. Nothing too great. I like them. Oh, I don't. I don't. May I present to you the final Colleen hand-picked Japanese candy from her trip? Enjoy. Final one. We're on to the final one. And I have a good hope for this. I mean, I do think it's going to be some kind of cheese. Guyutan. Let's see. At least it's not teriyaki. Cheese doodly. So, this literally tastes like baby back ribs. This tastes like little ribs from like Outback or Fridays. It tastes like meat. Wow. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. It's so, so bad. Oh, I thought it was a cheese doodle. This is not a cheese doodle. This tastes like spare ribs or some kind of a steak. I love those things, but I don't like them in like a crunchy corn puff. Ugh, so much powder flavoring. I don't like it. It also kind of tastes like a cheeseburger. It basically tastes like any kind of meat in the world with some like seasoning. That's disgusting. Well, you little sweetie pass, we did it. I tested all the candy Colleen brought me. She actually brought me a little bit more, but all the stuff that was in my cutesy little Hello Kitty box, I don't know. I liked most of it. Some of it was so bad, like this cheese doodle. I also didn't like this little pop, but these little octopus gummies, the little paws, delicious. But out of every single one of these, my fave was that little pudding marshmallow. I have never tasted anything like that. Oh, I gotta get more of those. Bubble, this was like poopy. I'm also gonna call this the poopy doodle. It tastes like a poopy cheese doodle. For real. Hope you enjoyed it, and we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.